Hey YouTube, I'm just going to be doing a quick sump tank. I'm going to be removing things, adding things. The center support right here is going to go. I'm going to be moving it over to about right here. Enough room to get my skimmer inside there. And then from that point over to about here, I'm going to make the refugium. And then at that point, I'm going to have the mag seven down inside here. So it's a 20 gallon long. It used to be wet and dry, which originally had five gallons of bio balls and had an egg crate tray in it. So that's what we got going on. It's a regular glass tank. Of course, here's my skimmer. Kind of drying out a little bit. It's probably going to screw some things up for a while. Inside the bucket is the mag drive, the uh, overflow box for the skimmer itself, and of course my Marine, Marine Land heater, and that's where it's going to be going back, back to where we originally had it. I had taken the top off, of course, and all the rock that was inside there is currently inside my tank. So I just kind of dropped it in there for now. I'm sure I'm going to be pissing off a few creatures that live inside here. That's all right. We don't care as long as we get it looking good inside the actual sump. All right, so there we go. That's what we got going on so far. Well, if you want to take a look at my lighting, these are the blue actinics up on top. And then you've got the regular daylights on top, and then there's also the moonlights. The moonlights on this particular fixture actually stay on when you turn the actinics on. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's just the way, the way they did it. And as you can see, these are 12K bulbs. Very bright. 54 watt bulbs. The actinics, I believe they're 54 watts. They're in reverse, so... I couldn't tell you off the top. That's a pretty decent fixture. Nothing spectacular. You can't really see it in the dark here, but it's a very narrow, streamlined type fixture. No fans required on it. It's got the two stands or feet for it. Alright, I bought this about a year ago, I guess, for about. I think I got it for like 90 to 100 bucks, something like that. As you can see, it's a nice fixture. It's got decent lighting on it. And, I mean, none of these guys inside the tank seem to mind, so that's all that matters. Everybody seems happy enough. All right, so anyways, that's what's going to happen. Taking this guy apart, I'm going to start putting this thing back together. I'll be using all plexiglass. This is quarter inch plexiglass. Really thick stuff. And I've had it siliconed in there. I had no problem whatsoever with this stuff. So that's how we're going to go with it. All right, anyways, I'm going to get busy and I'll keep you updated. All right, until then, thanks for watching.